So in this example here, again, is this in descending order? Do we have it in standard form? I'm sorry. Yes. OK, good. So we want to identify the degree, which in this case is 7. Leading coefficient in this case is negative 1. So our degree, again, guys, it's either even or odd. You don't need to do this, but sometimes I like sometimes students will forget. So or they'll switch it. They'll they'll care is the degree positive or negative, and is the leading coefficient even or odd? No, it's only is the degree even or odd. Well, the degree in this case is odd, and our leading coefficient again is going to be negative. So we go back to our little chart, and we say, all right, what is the behavior of all graphs that have an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient? And that is they are going to go up to the left and down to the right. However, yes? Nope, the leading coefficient is going to be the coefficient of your term with the highest power. Do you agree that this term has the highest power? Yes. So the leading coefficient is going to be the number in, or the coefficient of that term. OK? Um, so we could say up left or down to the right. However, I really prefer you guys to write it in this format, which would be instead of up, we could say it rises to the left and then falls to the right. Just understand both of them. I don't know what the test is going to look like. Yes? I'm confused. I thought it was supposed to go like from highest to lowest and you're like ranging in You are. OK, well, that's not highest Yes, it is. How? 7 is higher than 5. Oh, we did by exponent. Powers. It's all by the powers. It's oh. very common. It's OK. She called me a jit. Yeah, that's OK. That's, that's the most common misconception. So you just got to keep on practicing it. You're fine. <laughs> 